guys, my name is Damon, this is Inside the NFL Today, and we're doing Combine. Combine Day 2 had quarterbacks, wide receivers, and running backs, and right now I'm going to be mainly talking about wide receivers, I'll probably come out with another video about the quarterbacks soon, but I really want to talk wide receivers because that was the highlight of the day. This video is going to be coming out tomorrow, so it's the day after, but today is when I watched all this stuff, so if anything comes out in between here and then, I will not be covering it in this because obviously it's after I'm recording. But anyway... A lot is good to be said about the wide receivers at the Combine. Um, there were A lot of them impressed me more than I thought. Uh, I had re heard reports that this uh, wide receiver class was really thin, that there was some top-level talent, but it wasn't one of the stronger positions of the draft. And right now, I kind of disagree with that. I saw a lot of what I liked. Um, t before today, I had definitely heard of Corderell Patterson, who had been climbing draft boards fast. Um, basically he's, if you didn't watch the combine, he's this physical freak. He's like 6'1", and I believe like 198 pounds. He's got a great size for w what a wide receiver needs to be. And he ran a, ran a blazing fast 40. Uh, he ran a sub, uh, 440, which at that height is amazing. Normally guys with that are taller end up running in the, uh, four fours, and that's still pretty good. So he ran, to run a sub four, I believe he ran a four three four. I could be wrong about that though, um, because I don't have the actual statistics here. But that's still pretty amazing. The thing I like the most about him is when I've watched tape, I've seen his really elusiveness. He got uh, cuts in and out. He's got that big play making ability, like a Percy Harvin or a Wes Welker who can run down the field and always make plays and stuff like that, which I really like it. When he has the ball in his hand, he's going to score a lot of big plays, and you're going to see a lot of highlights with him. So he's one of the guys I like. Cordero Patterson again out of Tennessee, if you didn't get the name the first time. Um, another guy I saw that I really liked was actually Tavon Austin. Before today, I knew he was one of Geno Smith's receivers, but I didn't know a whole lot about him. I thought he was probably just getting a lot of draft attention because of Geno Smith. But I actually think he helped Geno Smith look better as a wide receiver. No, saying nothing about it about Geno Smith because I actually like him a little. But uh, Tavon Austin has a, is another guy who has a great playmaking ability. Marshall Falk and I think Mike Mayock have quoted many times that he's a Wes Welker, um, Percy Harvin type guy, and I totally agree with that. Uh, he has that great playmaking ability, and he's really amazing on his route running which is something that I was really surprised with when watching him. He does pretty good with routes. He does pretty good with a lot of things with running with the football, just like Cordero Patterson. He's not as much of the physical freak, but he's got speed. Um, his unofficial 40 time was, uh, I'm, I'm almost 100% sure, uh, 434. Uh, he, that was his official 40 time, and his unofficial 40 time was like 427 or 425. And... Uh, he actually did a really good job at the combine. Now, um, one of the things I'm really going to be looking at him to see uh, in tape is how his hands are. As of now, I know he doesn't have the best hands, but he doesn't have bad hands. He could be a first-round receiver to me, in my mind, if he proves to us he has the hands combined with everything else, because he's got the other skills. We just need to know how good his hands are, and uh, he needs to further improve how good his route running is and stuff like that. So the next guy I'd like to talk about is uh, DeAndre Hopkins out of Clemson. DeAndre Hopkins really came onto my radar as one of the best receivers in the draft because I was watching the uh, bowl game, sorry I forgot the name, but the bowl game where he was in with LSU. That single game, what I learned from that game is he can catch any ball against a great defense. LSU's defense was tired in that game if you didn't watch it. They had played a lot of plays, but... It was LSU, who comes out with some of the best corners like Patrick Peterson, Tyron Matthew. Tyron Matthew's at a different school, but uh, Tyron Matthew, Patrick Peterson, and Maurice Claiborne. They come out with some of the best cornerbacks, so you know they got good quality. Against Thurman Simon, uh, DeAndre Hopkins did amazing. He was flawless. He had 16 catches, and he, had, he owned the game at the ending of that game. Um, if you're a team in the first round who needs a wide receiver... Or the second round, because this guy may go hidden until the second round. I think he's actually going to be one of those gems. If you can have a gem in the first few rounds, I think he's a gem. In my opinion, he's probably the best hands receiver in the draft. He can catch any ball that you throw to him, and he is going to be, I think, flying up draft boards. So if you guys haven't looked up any highlights about DeAndre Hopkins, 
look them up on tape right after I finish this video. Please. Do yourself a service. Um, he's amazing. Uh, like I said, he's got the hands to do it, and he can. He was whooping Elisiba towards the end of that game. He's got the physicality. He's got the ability to catch those balls right at their highest point of attack. He really attacks the ball. And, again, this guy is going to fly up draft boards, and if he doesn't, whatever team gets him in the second or third round, it's going to be a steal. I'm telling you guys right now, this guy is worth the first-round pick. If you don't believe me, go look up tape on him, especially in the LSU game, and see what I mean. So uh, those were the three guys that really impressed me the most at wide receiver. There were other guys like Marquise Goodwin, who did a really good job in route running. That's probably his forte, and his speed is his forte. But overall, those were the three guys that really impressed me the most. Um, overall, I really saw some stuff I liked out of the receivers at the Combine. Um, but yeah, really look up DeAndre Hopkins, and uh, keep, on your mind, keep on your mind some of the other guys. The last note... Um, a guy to kind of keep in the back of your mind who's not on a lot of draft boards, I don't know where he falls, he's probably a late rounder, is uh, TJ Moe. He's a wide receiver that I had never heard his name before the combine today. He made a one-handed catch at the combine, and he was catching some amazing passes. So, and he benched a lot of weight, more than almost any other wide receiver. So um, look up TJ Moe, see what he is. He could start going up draft boards, but I don't really know. He may be one of those uh, deep sleepers. So... How about a combine today, DeAndre Hopkins, and I'll be coming out with a, a short video to highlight the quarterbacks because there's not much for me to say about them. Um, but I'll be coming out with a short video to highlight the quarterbacks soon. Thanks for watching, guys. DeAndre Cop Hopkins is a beast and the best out of this group, in my opinion. So think, please rate, comment, and subscribe if you liked. Hopefully your team will get DeAndre Hopkins, and I'll see you guys later.